I'm at Swedish Forestry Expo 2023 with Carl Henrik on the Ponzi stand. Um, Carl Henrik, can you tell me about Swedish Forestry Expo and your involvement in it? Yeah, yeah, totally new fair, new event, G great event. And um, we started many, many years ago. Actually, five uh, manufacturers, so Ponzi, Komatsu, John Deere, mm. Rotten and Ecolog. The five of us starting to discuss that we should have a new way of meeting customers in, in Sweden, so mm -hmm. compared to the old concept. So. So this is what it is. Mm -hmm. This is what it became. Really mm -hmm. nice place. Uh, and you've had the... It was supposed to happen several years ago because of Covid and, and, and various things. It, uh, you finally opened yesterday. How was the, fir the first day for you? Well, quite amazing. Yeah. And, and I think last week we, we knew that this was coming, but since we postponed this two times, mm -hmm. one year at a time, and this this finally came came you know to be to be happening, and I, I think it, it really felt great because I and a few others been involved in this from the beginning, and a lot of people have changed during the you know during the way mm -hmm. uh, over these years. People have changed position and so on. So I think only two persons now, me and one other guy, was was in this from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, and you have a big stand as one of the main organizers. What have you brought? To, to show people potential customers. Yeah, we don't we don't have any new releases for for this fair, but we knew we launched a lot of things last year, and mm. of course these things are here. Mm. And then we have this technology concept with the EV1, this electric vehicle one, uh, to show electric drive, and mm. and that's that's really you know one of the big big things here, and and attracts a lot of people to see this. And we have show every hour on this on this machine. Can you tell us a bit more about the the electric drive? How does it how does it work? What does it do? Uh, it's it's total setup. So the the drivetrain uh, and also the, the the pumps for the hydraulics is, is driven by uh, electric motors. So it's it's totally electric drive with a battery pack, uh, 600 kilos battery in in the rear frame. Um, but what you do have is a, a smaller diesel engine, 
but it's also it's also only you know give power to to the electric uh, battery pack mm -hmm. so that's 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 a different we don't want to call it a hybrid because we know there are other uh, manufacturers having hybrid but that's a totally different solution so this is electric with extended range mm -hmm. with with a diesel engine smaller diesel engine so what kind of range does the machine have then um, with, with the with the diesel engine, of course, the range is, is uh, as any any machine. Mm -hmm. We we think that maybe uh, the machine will run on battery for for half an hour, and then the diesel engine will start and it will charge the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, may, maybe that also for for half an hour or 20 minutes. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So the, the expectation is that the diesel engine will will work 50 percent of the time. As you say, you've been uh, demoing it every hour. What kind of reaction? Because people. We'll be seeing it for the first time. What kind of reaction have you had from people? Well, everybody is interested, of course. I think if you look at the uh, contractors here in Sweden, they're, they're of course hesitating. Mm. This is new. Uh, no one really knows what to expect for the future about this technology. Uh, we have to understand that it's, of course, still technology concept. Uh, but I think the first two companies, they are standing in line to purchase this kind of machine because I think everybody understands that the only way to, to meet this um, environmental uh, demands for the future, this kind of technology has to be a part of that kind of development for the future, as well as what kind of fuel we're using and, and so. And you said, of course, you uh, did bring out some, some other machines in the last uh, couple of years. What, what else uh, is at this show that people might not have had the chance to see before? Yeah, we have, uh, of course, the Scorpion Giant, the third uh, third machine in the Scorpion program. We launched the Scorpion in 2014, uh, I think first shown at Elmia 2013. And, and then we had the Scorpion, we had the Scorpion King, yeah. and now we have the Scorpion Giant mm. with a little bit uh, more lifting power, so you can have an H8. And then, of course, the new H8 is also new with, with this um, active speed. Mm -hmm. You have like a three speed now in, in these uh, rollers. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then, of course, the Mammoth. Mammoth yeah. is also a really big thing here, the 25 tonner. Yeah, literally. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, that we have a lot of attractions here to, to, to see. Well, I, uh, I hope it's going to be another great day for you. Thanks very much for talking to us. Oh, thank you. Thank you.